It'll be empty this time tomorrow. Anybody want to bet me? It's empty now. <laughs> right over at the Romero place and give them a warning. Then meet me over at the hideout. caught him alone. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, fellas. I, I reckon you saved my neck. We thought you might have been one of our friends. Well, now, say, this little act of yours more than makes you my friend. Say, put those shiny guns away, will you? They, they make me nervous. What was it all about? Well, I happened to be down in Dobie City a while back and asked the barkeep where I could find El Diablo. Huh? El Diablo? What do you want him for? Oh, a little personal business. When I happened to mention that, down in Dobie City, why, all the cash customers started backing up against me, so I took it on a long loop and, well, here I am. Now that I've told you that much, maybe you can tell me where I can find El Diablo. Know him? Yeah. We know him all right. But that doesn't say that you're gonna know him. <laughs> maybe you're right, Mr. Say, I don't believe you've told me your name. I ain't in the habit of giving my name to strangers, but uh, Todd will do for now. Well, Mr. Todd, I got a personal letter for him from an old friend of his. And I aim to deliver it in person, if I ever catch up with him and maybe go to work for him. Just a minute. What's your name? Well, Cheyenne Kincaid on the payroll, but plain Kincaid will do for now. Will we take him with us? He certainly won't be welcome back in town. Might as well. Who's your letter from? Jose Rodriguez. We'll take you and introduce you to Diablo on one condition. To hand over your shooting iron first. Fair enough, Mr. Todd. I'll catch up my horse and join him. You carry your Brandon iron with you. Yeah. Well, it never 
tell him when he runs across some lonesome little calf whose mama's run off and left him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can throw it away. There's only one brand used here, Diablo. So my friend across the border said. What else did uh, Jose tell you? He said that Diablo had a perfect restless paradise. More than that, Diablo's smart. He discovered a few kinks in the Spanish land grant law, and we're grabbing off Hacienda's right and left. We're on our way to take one over now. Well, then I'll be lucky if I can join you, fellas. Yeah, you will. and his umbras, they ride again. They run away all of the old man Gonzalez's cattle. They oh. kill the people and take their land. Oh, but they are not coming here. See, but they are. Keep your eye open and you'll learn something. Well, I'm always aiming to learn, Mr. Todd. Rancho again, we'll get this. And you can tell that to Diablo. Now, get out. Wait. One minute. You might need this. learn much from that lesson. No. Well, you will when Diablo comes with us. By the way, Mr. Todd, what's Diablo's other name? If you're smart, that's one question you'll never ask. That's right. Maybe I shouldn't. He take a siesta. I have a letter for him. I'm a friend of his, Jose Rodriguez. Oh, why did you not say so? Well, I didn't know you'd be interested. We picked him up a couple of jumps ahead of some smoking 45s. He says he's got a letter for you. For me? Seems we have a common friend. Rodriguez. Come in. So you've got a letter for me from my old friend Jose, eh? Well, I did have one. Still here. Greetings to Diablo. This will introduce my friend, Ken Kincaid. The climate here is getting too warm for him, so I sent him to you. So you're looking for a cooler climate, eh? Well, I'll tell you. 
Some folks down there objected to my branding iron. Lord, some folks even objected to my shooting iron. <laughs> <laughs> Jose says you are very handy with both. And that you can be trusted. Well, now, Jose said the same thing about you. So, uh, I reckon that puts us on an equal footing, huh? <laughs> we can use you all right. Thank you. Who's got his gun? I have. Give it up. Thank you, Mr. Todd. Yeah. What use is the bullwhip? Rather have me a lariat. In case you haven't got a rope, the bullwhip comes in right handy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's got its uses, my friend. But of course, nothing like a good six shooter or a stiletto. That's right. Bullets or a stiletto hastens the death of a victim. Huh. Yeah. Make yourself at home. Connie. Thank you. Connie. Yes? What are you hiding from? Get a bottle and some cups. Bring them in there. What happened at the Romero place? Uh, the Romero girl got the drop on us with her shotgun and told us to go to the devil. And we went. Say, the barrels on that shotgun look dead big. Didn't they, Mr. Todd? Yeah. Takes you all day. Get out. Help yourself. I tell you... Uh... Ouch! You're hurting me. By the way, when I came back today, you were fooling around my old trunk. Oh, no, I wasn't. Honest, I've never been in that trunk. No? Well, you might be tempted to. Just to remind you, if you ever do, I'll skin you alive. Now get out of here. Your kid? Kincaid. That's your name, isn't it? Well, that's as good as any. The men who work for me never ask any questions. Well, I'll tell you. I can't help it because I'm an inquisitive cuss. It's a habit I have, asking questions. And used to having them answered. Your kid? For your information, she ain't. Thanks. I 
just heard you say you'd skin her alive if she didn't do something you wanted her to. That's right. That's funny. That's just what I'm going to do. Someday, if I ever catch up with him. What? Skin a man alive? Just that. With this. My old friend, Senor Romara. Why do you run away from me? I just as soon face the devil as you. You are facing the devil. <laughs> All I want from you is those land grand deeds you have no use for. Your title is useless. Tell me where I can find them, and I'll turn you loose. If you don't, I'll find a way to make you. What? Give them to you? Be robbed of my home and my land? He'll talk. Bring him along. Tell. You won't tell on me. Won't tell on you? Well, well, what do you mean, I tell on you? Oh, you mean looking in that trunk? Yes. I so wanted to know what was in there. And today I found the key. I just couldn't help it. And if you tell, I'll probably... Listen, I'm not going to tell on you. Look here. Tell on you, honest. <laughs> Sit down.
I had a little girl like you once. I mean, if... If she were alive, she'd be like you. And maybe about your age. Is she dead? Well, I... I don't know. You see, she was a... When I saw her last, she was a little bit of a thing. Like this. She was a little baby, wasn't she? <laughs> yeah. Like all babies. I want you to tell me something. Is Diablo your father? I don't know. Maybe he is and maybe he ain't. I don't know. I just can't remember. What's your other name, Connie? Just Connie, that's all. There he is. When we turn your loose, you'll be glad to tell us where the land grant deeds are. You think because I am an old man that I am afraid. I will show you I am not. No. Antonio, you haven't thrown your knife lately. Maybe you need a little practice, eh? Ah, see. Si. Oh, you're going to see how good his aim is? Yes, for his benefit. <laughs> Come on, Tony, get ready. Come on, boys, give him room, give him room. <laughs> ready, Antonio? One more chance, Romero. Will you tell me where you keep the land grant deeds? No. The right ear, Antonio. And then the left. If he still refuses to tell, the heart. I don't like your sense of humor, Mr. Diablo. The senor might have a weak heart. And I don't like your interference, Kincaid. I'm afraid it's too late for that, Mr. Diablo. can cut the Senor Romero loose. Live here. Be careful how you drop it. Gracias, amigo. And now, gentlemen, if you feel like following us, come ahead. We'll show you a game a lot funnier than the one you were just playing.
Wait! I know another game, too. No, no. It is to him that I owe my liberty. My daughter Dolores, Mr. Uh, Kincaid. And Larry Martin, a friend of the family. How are you this? How are you? We must drink to my return and my friend, Dolores, bring wine and glasses. Can't tell you how grateful we are for Senor Romero's safe return. Not many have been so lucky as to escape from El Diablo. He is a scourge to our country. He has stolen hacienda after hacienda, and cattle by the drove. No one seems to stop him. They're afraid of him. He, but Senor Kincaid, he is not afraid of him. <laughs> maybe it's because I don't know him well enough. Or maybe I still have something to learn. Here is the wine, Father. Ah, here is the wine. Sit down, Senor Kincaid. You have been talking about Diablo. I can tell from Father's face. Correct, senorita. The daddy seems to think that Diablo is trying to take his hacienda away. If someone don't stop him right quick. But nobody dares stop him. I aim to try. His description answers that of a man I've been looking for, whose name I don't know. None of us ever heard his name. When he first came here with his wife and little girl, they always kept to themselves. Oh, uh, he brought his wife and little girl with him, eh? First joined him, and things began to happen. Men were robbed and killed. Cattle rustled. Diablo's uh, uh, wife, what became of her? Some say she went away, but she do not go. We know that. Once when they first come to Dobie City, they were quarreling. She says she would leave him if he dared touch her child again. She wanted to leave him. Oh, yes, but he say if she do, he'd kill her. What did Diablo uh, call? This woman. It was a funny name. It was like two names. Was it? Was it May? Maybear. That was it. Have we say something to offend you? No, senor. You just told me I'm nearing the end of a long trail. Senor Kincaid, let us thank you. Our hacienda is yours. Please accept its hospitality. Thank you, senor. That's Kincaid. Yeah. And he's streaking it toward our hideout. Romero can wait. We'll pick him up later. Keep far enough behind Kincaid so he don't recognize you. I want to surprise him and even the score.
Now, you don't need to be afraid of me. That was my mother. Kimball. My. <clears throat> My little Connie. Come on, honey. Come on. Reach for it, Kincaid. You made a mistake, Kincaid. You shouldn't have come back. That's right. Maybe I shouldn't. Tie him up. What have you been up to? Nothing. Honest, I ain't. You get out of here and stay out of here. <gasps> You've been doing a lot of work for nothing. I don't know your game. But I know one thing. You've played your last hand as far as I'm concerned. Make him comfortable, boys. When I get through with the Ramona Hacienda tonight, I'll be back. In the meantime, you can sit here and picture your own finish. Antonio, stay behind. Watch him. If he makes a move to get away, well, I've been trying to place you ever since I saw you. But I just can't quite make it. Well, that's where I've got the best of you, mister. Because I've placed you.
cause to rejoice. Had it not been for the Senor Kincaid, I perhaps would have had maybe no ears. Or perhaps I would have been dead. Oh, it is time something were done with the Diablo and his men. The very mention of his name spells terror. Everybody's afraid of him. Even myself is no exception. <laughs> Senor Kincaid, he is not afraid. You should have seen him. <laughs> You don't mind if I take Mr. Martin away, do you? Of course not, Dolores. You'll excuse me? Larry, Father is so bent on celebrating his safe return that I didn't want to spoil it. But, Larry, I'm afraid. Please post one of his men outside, just in case the other should return. I don't think he'd come back this soon. Not with a house full of guests. Do as I say, please. Make you feel any easier? Of course I will. That's a pretty good bunch of cattle we got the last time. Yeah, all but the brands. <laughs> They're better now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're having a little shindig down at the Romero place tonight. We'll join them. But it won't be for a shindig. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, clear this up. And don't you move out of here tonight for anything. Don't let me catch you talking to him. Let's get underway, boys. Hey, you don't mind if we stop down to El Dorado for a drink or two, do you? No, I'll join you myself. <laughs> Tony, you know, Mr. Kim Kane. <laughs> First stop will be the El Dorado, and then Romero. Hey, Antonio. You know, that's the unfriendliest bunch I've ever met up with. Whose fault is it? it looks like it's mine. Say, you ain't aiming to starve me to death, are you? Oh, we've got plenty of food. Well, give it to him. I'll get you a plate. Say, you're a real nice fella, Tony. As long as you're kind enough to feed me, don't you think you better turn loose my hands? I'm going to make an awful mess of it this way. <laughs> All right. I cut you loose. But, if you start anything, I cut you from ear to ear. Savvy? Yeah, I think I... I think I've got your idea all right. Thank you, honey. better. Now, if I could just build me a smoke. Keep your hands out of the pocket. Yes, Tony. I'll give you the making. I tell you not to do that. I'll give you a light. Come on, Connie. 
Diablo. Diablo. Oh, Diablo. Yes, senor, with all his men. How many of them? Well, he stopped at the El Dorado. He's bringing his own men and anyone else he can get. Oh, Larry. Go for help quick, Larry, and get all the men you can. Oh, wait, Larry, go for help. Quick, my friends. Diablo. to your ranch. They will never find them, amigo. Don't be too sure of that. We'll take this house apart piece by piece to find them. Does that man of yours have to go? The next ranch below me, Senor Henderson. He has many vaqueros work for him. Well, if they don't get here soon, they'll be too late. They'll be here. I think I have a better place to hide my land grant papers. Keep up your firing. I know a way to shoot him up. I will put these where they never will find them.
You told me earlier this evening you'd be back when you finished with the Romero. Well, you're back. Now, mister, let you and me go to the cabin. What are we going to do? We can't go back, and we can't go to the hideout. That's where you're wrong. It's our only chance. But Diablo said... My neck's worth just as much as Diablo's. Are you coming or not? Yeah. yeah. me a while ago to stay here and pitch him a finish. Well, I didn't stay here. I didn't pitch him my finish. But I did yours, Kimball. That's the name, isn't it? Ranch Kimball. How did you know? Oh, a little bird told me. A friend of yours. A buzzard. Take off the cuffs. And the vest. You see that beam up there? Throw that over. Just slip your hands in that loop. I guess you know who she is. And I guess you know who I am now. Crazy. You're a madman. Maybe I am. For years I've lived with one thought to catch up with you. There's always an end. And you've reached yours tonight, Mr. Kimball. But your wife, she came to me of her own free will. You lie. I, I don't know what you're talking about. No. Maybe this will refresh your memory. Now, where's my wife? I... I don't know. Slow down! We're safe now. This has been Rustler's paradise ever since we've been here. And it ain't likely they'd pick up our trail now. Now what happened to my wife? She... She's dead. How did she die? I don't know. Diablo, king of the rustlers. Now, will you tell me how my wife happened to die? Yes. 
I'll talk. I'll talk. I made her run away with me. And I killed her when she said she was going to tell you where to find me. Ah. That's what I wanted to hear. Don't oh. I... Diablo, king of the rustlers. Anyone else want a sample? Now, come on. Get out of the way. Thank you, gentlemen. You'll find El Diablo inside. If you want to see my credentials, I'll be glad to show them to you. When you put these gentlemen where they belong. Senorita, there's the land grant deeds that Diablo was after. Oh, thank you. By the way, how is Senor Romero? Doctor says he's going to pull through fine. Bueno, bueno. Come on, Connie. Try and get a new start. And aim to give him a little gal a chance to get acquainted with her dad. 